What's going on? Hang on. John's famous. John, what did you do? Someone, uh... What size are they? They look big. Standard size, a shoe size 12 to 16. What are you? I wear 13s. Yeah, look. You are John. Like, no joke. John the socks I wear. John the sock man. What? Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, whoever said that, that's tight. John the sock man. Look at the camera and say thank you, John. Thanks, for real. Like, I need new socks. I was literally getting ready to go out and buy socks. John the sock man. At least we know we're all getting them for Christmas. Oh, my God. Yeah, my girl's like, yo, what do you want for Christmas? I'm like, baby, give me socks. <laughs> As you get older, you really That's do appreciate awesome. socks. Well, like, socks and underwear, yeah. This is gangster, dude. That's funny as shit, bro. Woo! went up two days. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this fancy 2016 CTSV and we're going to do some tests on it. Uh, we're going to add a rotofab intake to it and, uh, and then we're going to add headers to it. But first we need to baseline it and to keep the, uh, to keep the test consistent between all of them, what we're going to do is we are going to put it on the dyno tonight and then we're going to let it warm up to operating temperature tomorrow morning and run it. That way heat soak is not really a factor and we're going to do the same thing when we put the rotofab on and we're going to also do the same thing when we tune it and we're going to also do the same thing when we do the headers and also do the same thing when we tune it again. So we got a couple like night things going on here but we're, uh, we're going to get her going. So this car is stock minus a Corsa. It is on the stock tune and uh, the Stock headers, stock intake, all that fun stuff, just not the stock exhaust. So guys, she is strapped down to the dyno and ready to go for tomorrow. Again, what we're going to do is uh, we're letting her cool down overnight and then we're going to uh, uh, warm her up to operating temperature and baseline her. And then we'll run it again or a couple times for good measure to show how much heat soak actually affects this thing. And then we'll get to work on the rotofab and plug and chug. Okay guys, it is a new day. Uh, we have not started this thing up yet and uh, we're going to start it now and get that baseline full. Letting the car warm up right now. As you see, it is the stock airbox, stock everything minus a Corsa cap back. And we're going to dyno it so we have a good baseline number. Okay. This is a very fancy car. Look at that. So, we're almost up to operating temperature. The cold temp is almost there. We're going to run this at 180. We're running it at 180 every single time for comparison purposes. That way, when it's cooled down, it warms up, doesn't have a, have a chance to heat soak, and uh, we get good comparable numbers from one run to the next. Now, once it heat soaks, you know, I'll show you that on the baseline here so you can see how we're actually losing power. comes in at 577 to the wheels that's pretty damn good I was thinking it was gonna be 570 for comparison purposes my ZL1 died on 575 the same engine so that seems about right I'm gonna let it sit for a second and we're gonna run it again and see how bad the heat soak is a little bit of power. Uh, we lost 8 horsepower and like 10 foot-pounds of torque. You can see how the power loss is across the entire RPM band and it really starts spreading in the high end. That is only going to get worse as the uh, uh, car runs for, uh, more and more. 
So that is why we're going to compare it only to a cold start, warmed up to 180 degrees, and then ran there. So we have a good apples to apples comparison, at least condition wise, or as close as we can condition wise. This is also untuned. You can see how even the tune changes a little bit with a little bit of heat soak. Okay, we ran it one more time, and you can see it's still knocking it down a little bit at a time. That's heat soak. It looks like he left me a present. Arizona Arnold Palmer, baby. Thanks, James. Okay, so the intake is off. And Mike is taking some uh, equipment off of the factory one so he can use it on the Rotofab. We're going to see what the numbers are without any tune changes. So for you guys that have a CTS V3, uh, this, this, uh, the numbers that we're going to show up first are going to be the numbers for uh, no tune changes whatsoever. It's starting to look like a Rotofab. So Rotofab does not offer the, uh, the dry filters for the CTSV, at least not yet. You can only get the wet filter, so that's why we have a red filter instead of like the white one that's on my uh, ZL1. Uh, I'm expecting some, some decent gains from just putting it on. I'd like to see 15 to 20. Mike, what do you think she's going to put down? The yeah, stock one. I'd probably say, I mean, this looks pretty restrictive. I mean, it's got to breathe out of that. So I, I'd, I'd definitely say 15, 20 wheel. Okay. Well, way to be different. <laughs> so what's this? So it looks like they've updated their kit slightly. Um, on yours, ZL1, I actually had to pull the stock one out and modify it. But on the new kit, they, have, they do it in-house. Looks a lot cleaner. Why does it look cleaner than what you did? I, well, I use regular hose clamps. It wasn't, I, we don't have these connectors. <laughs> He's giving me shit. I'm going to have to go back to my, uh, my ZL1 and like see what kind of hack job you did. There it is. Look at that. It's really nice looking. Mm -hmm. It fits in there really nice. And then they, if you have a 103 on your car already, they will send you a uh, straight coupler. So this one's a reducing coupler. That way you can actually get it on without like losing your mind. I don't know, somehow Eric has the uncanny ability to stretch any coupler to any size throttle body. But right. look what they gave. We're gonna put this over his rim. Over his rim, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> okay guys, it is a new day. We're going to dyno the Rotofab intake on this beautiful CTSV. Uh, it is a Gen 3 CTSV. It's a 2018, so it has the uh, the better uh, the better supercharger like intercooler setup from the factory. And uh, we're going to dyno it with no tune changes. Now we're going to do this the same way that we baselined it. Uh, we let it cool down overnight, and we're going to let it warm all the way up. Okay, we're starting her nice and cool. Well, very cold. The manifold air temps, everything's like, I mean, this is exactly the, the conditions that we uh, baseline are in, and this is exactly what we're going to do for the test to uh, take heat soak out of the, uh, of the uh, comparison. Let's see what she does. The initial results are in. You guys want to see? It's with no changes. 20 horsepower gain and a, ten, and a five uh, torque. You can see that the uh, majority of the gain is high end. So like where you're going to shift at and into, you have more power. Anything under 
well, you probably didn't need more power anyway. But that's an excellent gain, and it's definitely going to show some uh, some awesome uh, uh, performance pickups for sure. And the air fuel ran just a little bit richer with tuning. I think we get a bit more out of it. So for good measure, we uh, got this thing a little bit heat soaked now. We're going to run her again and uh, see what kind of power we lose. This screen is wild. That's an all digital display. And the more that we do this, it'll just keep on getting worse and worse. I hope you liked our comparison with the uh, Rotofab intake alone. We have not done any tuning on it yet. We have uh, just run it with the Rotofab showing you guys the effects of heat soak and also uh, what the Rotofab does with, without any other changes. Uh, it ran really good, a nice gain in the high end, uh, 20 basically from 4,500 RPMs on. That's, I, I got to admit, that's really something. That's. Uh, uh, that's something that you can like add. I think with tuning, it'll do even better. And then uh, when we add the headers, obviously a good bit more. And, we'll, and that's what'll be coming on this uh, CTS V3 project uh, shortly. Uh, next video on the project will uh, be a baseline on uh, on the tune where it sits now, and then uh, then we'll bump it up with uh, headers. Do that comparison so we can see the exact gains of the headers and. Uh, then uh, where it'll sit with headers and tune and then, then we'll be done with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button and subscribe and don't forget to reach out to Rotofab if you have a V3 because that, that intake is definitely worth it. Have a great day.